everybody and welcome back to my channel. My name is Gitty Marie and today we're reverse hauling some of the stuff that I own. Hauls typically tend to involve new things that you have bought that you then show other people. Reverse haul is the complete opposite. You show the things you've owned for the longest period of time. I don't know if there is a demographic for this type of content but I sort of mentioned it in passing in one of my recent vlogs and it seemed like some of you guys thought it was a cool idea. So now we're trying it out to see how this works. The whole idea behind this is basically for myself and for other people and like uh, the world, the internet, to normalize just celebrating the things that we already own because we tend to live in a world where we always look towards the next new thing and we're stopping in our tracks in our consumption and looking at the things that we own, making them last as long as possible, repairing them when they break and just celebrating the fact that they're still here. It's not something we do a whole lot, but it's like a muscle. You can exercise that skill and you can become better at it. That's what we're trying today. I have collected art for ages. I've collected old books for ages. I've collected dead animals for ages. So I have a bunch of weird things and I've tried to not focus on those, but rather things that's been in my family for a long time or things that I have owned for a long time. Without further ado, let's get started on this reverse haul. I thought about calling it an anti-haul but the anti-haul is things that are new that you're not gonna buy and we're already doing those as well so reverse haul it is. First of all is a newer old item to my collection. They're these Sunday dessert glasses. Now the reason why I call them new is because these have been in my dad's house for ages. My mom and dad got these in the beginning of the 90s before I was born and I remember growing up always getting ice cream desserts in these on Fridays and Saturdays and they don't look like the glasses I remember they are these exact glasses and he has eight of them so I asked him if I could have two. Using these such a healing experience. That sort of feeling of just pure joy and appreciation and nostalgia when you look at something no amount of money can buy you that. I refuse to believe it. And speaking of glasses, also a slightly newer addition. So we recently put my grandmother in a home. I love going to visit her and we talk about everything. She's amazing, but she had so much stuff because she and my grandfather moved into their house in 1964. And then she lived there until last year. So there was a bunch of stuff. Also stuff that I've never seen before. And I'll get back to that. We're okay. Things were more sturdy back then, so like we'll be fine. Anyway, I have these glasses and I actually have them in a bunch of different colors, which I love even more. So these are the green ones and I typically tend to collect green glass. I have a shelf with green glass. I, If I see it in a thrift store, I buy it. I'm a simpleton. I've used them for parties several times and I love busting them out. One of the mentalities that I was brought up with, especially from my grandparents' generation, is that we don't use the things that are nice. That we save them for special occasions and something that both me and my mother have started to rebel a little bit against is sort of that idea of saving the good things in your home for something special because every day is fucking special. So I love using these every single time I have the chance to. Using them also means that there's a chance that they will break, but they will be used and they will be loved and I will take good care of them without bunking them together a bunch of times. Anyway, I think this might be the oldest thing that I own. I have owned it for a long time, but it's also just very, very old. I got this as a gift from my neighbor when I was growing up. I think I might have been eight or nine. And I got this. He was a sculptor and my mom was an artist and I generally lived in a very creative environment. I, <laughs> I don't know why I need this ass for that. I loved coming into his atelier and his garden and run around and play and it was very fun. He gave me this stone. Are you kidding me? I use this to hold papers in place on my desk, which feels so weird, but I love this. I remember for a show and tell when I was maybe 10, I had a history teacher who was very cool. You could always bring things and then he would talk about them and explain a little bit about them because it seemed like he knew everything. Maybe he was bullshitting half the stuff, but all of us, we were very impressed by it. And I bring this and then he looks at it just like, huh, why would you make that? like I didn't I didn't make it I I, I got it and it's like mm, it's not real I mean like it's absolutely 100% real so I don't know what the fuck he was on about but he ended up convincing me that somehow this wasn't real but it's been confirmed it's it's just it's um it is what it is <laughs> very cool never forgave that teacher for making me look like an idiot I'm about to show you something you have seen a million times already and I'm still caught in this idea that that will make it uninteresting for you to see but I think it's important that we show the things that we have already worn a million times. So, you have seen this 
If you have followed my channel for a hot second, you know this bag because at this point it's the only bag that I use when I go to work, it's the only bag I use when I travel, it's the only bag that I use for grocery shopping. I, I, I use this for everything. It's a Grun tote and by the way, hashtag sponsored because they gave this to me a while ago. I think they gifted me this in 2018 or 2017. And yeah, it's not one of the things that I've owned for the longest time, but it's definitely one of those pieces that I have gotten the most use out of because I wear this every single day and I have for years. I also need to fix it though so I don't know this is made from safety belts which I love but it's sort of coming undone um, but there's a lot of safety belts still attached but it's just it it's starting to show that I wear it every single day um, but I love this bag and I think it deserves some celebration I think we are often on the lookout for ways to renew ourselves and show new sides and perspectives and be fresh every single day especially so when you see people creating content for social media but it's also something that rubs off on consumers that do not have a platform to maintain because it's just our consumer patterns and when we get our consumer patterns and we see what influencers do for instance we start to do the same things and have similar values and when one of those values is constant renewability we have a problem. Things that you wear again and again and again, you shouldn't feel ashamed about. You shouldn't feel ashamed or apologize for wearing the same dress to several parties or wearing the same thing every time you're at an important meeting. It's okay. Actually, it's how it should be. The planet simply cannot maintain the expectations of our constant renewability. So, we're working against it. Okay, now this might actually be one of the oldest things that I bought with my own money that I still use. It is this blazer. And you have also seen this or perhaps pictures of it. I'll insert some pictures so you can see the vast amount of times I've used this. This blazer has this gorgeous sort of texture to it. Actually, it's a little bit tight on me currently, but that's neither here nor there. The thing is, do you want to take a quick guess at where I got this blazer? Ooh, I got this blazer from Sara. And I got this blazer from Sara back in 2012, 2011, I think and Fashion Week in Copenhagen. I got this blazer at a sale in Zara. It's the last time I was in a Zara, um, mainly because I don't think the prices reflect the quality. Also, I feel like the staff were just incredibly rude and I can see that I'm not the only one that have that experience. And now because it's horrible fast fashion and they exploit their workers, I don't pay them fair wages. So there are many reasons as to why Zara is not really my vibe anymore. But I still wear this blazer every single goddamn time I have an important meeting. Anyone I want to impress and look professional, I wear this blazer. Wear this all the time and constantly. And I've talked about wearing fast fashion that you before you knew about fast fashion. So it's fine. And speaking of wearing things until they break. We're back talking about grandma stuff. So I love my grandmother to bits and the more that I emptied out her house, the more I've talked to her in the recent years, the more I have just come to appreciate how badass she has been throughout her entire life. I, I love her and I'm so thankful that I still get to talk to her. But I found these gloves in her closet. They are I think snake or crocodile. They might be snake. Obviously, I'm not a fan of how fur and leather, etc. is made, but once it's here, personally, I don't think my values about veganism and caring for animals contradicts wearing something that has been produced in the 50s. To me, personally, it's fine. If it's different for you, then don't wear my grandmother's gloves. That's all I gotta say. Anyway, I found these and at first glance, I loved the brown, I loved the design. I think they were amazing. I put them on when I saw this. My grandmother has worn these so much and repaired them every time they broke. You can also see the wear on these gloves. They still look incredibly elegant. This gives me hope and energy and just absolute pure joy. I love when you can see that things have been loved and repaired. It's sort of the same mentality as the Japanese kintsuki art form where you repair ceramics with gold and it becomes more beautiful after it's been broken. Overall, it lifts me up, it fills me with happiness. I have a few pieces of clothes left, but we will save these for now because I really wanted to show you this. You could also say that this contradicts my vegan values, but I don't really care because it, I, I love this. And the keen observer would have noticed that it was missing from up here. This is a rations card from 1990. It's supposed to be this little ticket that you take to the butchers and it gives you a lot 
This is still something that's being used several places in the world today, especially when resources are very sparse. Um, but this is such a unique little piece of history. Three things left. Now we have another fashion item. It's um, this beret. Usually berets come in a more stiff variety, but this is very soft. I love using this. And it's leopard print. It's not something I would usually go for in a thrift shop. The thing with this hat is that my mother bought this with one of her first paychecks as an adult. And she wore this every single winter during my childhood. And when I got this hat, I can tell you, I literally cried. I remember getting picked up from ice skating practice and my mom sitting there on the benches wearing this hat. So every time it's winter and every time it's snowing, I put on this hat and I love that I am able to wear this too. And I feel like I'm just channeling her as well. And like we're becoming slowly, becoming the same person. I got this in August, I think, or October. It's this uh, shirt. I found this in my grandmother's closet and when I showed it to my mom, she gasped because this is a shirt. My grandfather, he worked at a big department store and he was on a business trip in Paris in the 50s and he brought this back for my grandmother. And then when my mother was sort of 16, 17, she kept stealing it to go out. And at one point she told me that she left it in a gym bag and then she lost the gym bag. So for months she didn't know where this was and she was sort of coming to terms with the fact that it was gone and she had to tell my grandmother and it was awful. And then the gym bag reappeared with the shirt inside and now it's mine. So I'm the third generation to wear this shirt. Can we take a moment to appreciate the quality of this garment because three generations have worn it. I love this and I recently wore it to a meeting at the European Parliament and I feel like I had my grandfather with me, my grandmother with me and my mom as well. How can you not love this kind of stuff? There is no amount of fast fashion that will give you that feeling, I can tell you that much. Also, I would love to see clothes today lasting this long with the current quality of garments. The last thing is this pillow, not the actual filling up the pillow, but the pillow casing. So I collect uh, vintage towels, vintage sheets, vintage any sort of home textile especially in burnt orange and brown tones because I think it's so charming. And I feel like I'm in a vacation home, like a summer house, whenever I see it, I love it. And this pillow casing is also from my grandmother's house. For a few days, it also smelled like her house. And I was just, I was not being a weirdo, but I was sort of smelling the pillow once in a while and thinking about how that feeling that scent is so incredibly fleeing and it will be gone and it will never be back. So I really savored it. And now I look at the pillow and I think about the scent and it's not in my nostrils, but I know that it was. And that's something that I just absolutely love thinking about. Also the texture of this, you can find this in thrift stores as well. This has been washed maybe 500 times, I don't know, but I am very certain that it will last me many, many, many years. And that's everything for this reverse haul. Let me know in the comments down below if you have a favorite old heirloom or an old thing or something you bought years and years and years ago that you still use and love every single day. I would love to hear your associations with the reverse haul vibe. Let me know in the comments. And thank you so much for watching this video. Have an amazing day and I will see you guys next time. Take really good care of yourselves. Until then, bye. Thank you so much for watching this video and also a special thank you to my Patreon supporters. You guys help me create green zero waste contents and I love you guys. You can find the links to my social media accounts down below and the link to my Patreon on this screen. Bye!